We have all been there. You see a perfect person on a dating app or online dating website, and then we all forget how to say hello. Do you say something amazing or something fast? A joke? A pic? Of what? I'm Josh Robbins with Dating.com Group, and I'm about to share four different ways to initiate a conversation on dating apps. Number one, the first way to start up a conversation on dating apps is to be a researcher. Yeah, it's not hard. All you have to do is simply read their profile. What does it talk about? What does it mention? Does the profile mention a love for movies? Start by telling your favorite movie, or better yet, ask a question. Between movie A and movie B, which one would you rather watch every night before bed, and why? It gives the recipient something to reply to and a decision to engage in a different conversation they, than they have probably have had on the app in a while. The pros to this method shows you're meaningful, shows you actually read their profile, and puts the ball back in their court, making them feel special, talking about something they specifically mentioned. See how that works? The cons to this way of starting, you may appear as working a bit too hard to say hello, and it might give you a profile stalker status. Number two, be familiar. Say something funny, a joke, or something light. Maybe a lyric to your favorite song that's universally known, or make a comment about the fact that you are both on a dating app. It's a safe start, but it can get things started. The pros include you won't spend too much time reading, it's light and easy, and it's a great way to open a conversation if it's funny. It could show your personality even. The cons is being considered cliche, boring, and really not personal enough. Number three, be generic. This is when you can literally just say hi, hello, what's up, what's going on, or yo, or any of those variations. It doesn't take too much thought to be generic, or much effort. Being generic is generic, but you can just copy and paste what's up and reach more people faster. It's like a numbers game. You push out tons of messages to get a few replies. The pros to this is mass amounts of coverage and intros sent out at once. The cons of this method is you guessed it, being generic. Finally, number four, be a hoe. And I mean that in the most non-judgmental manner possible. I mean, we've all probably been there a time or two, or for years even, and that's okay. If a hookup is really all you want, or you feel your D-pick or your assets are what make you the most interesting person on the app, by all means, have at it. Just remember to observe the app's user policies so you don't get banned or kicked off the app. Being a hoe will quickly inform someone your intent and what you really value at this time in your life. And there's no shame there. The pros, you get right at what you're looking for. The cons, it could also get you blocked, put on blast, labeled as a hoe, or still probably single six months from now. Regardless of which direction you take on dating apps, what is important is that you seriously just be yourself and own it. There aren't many rules of the road on dating apps, and there is more than one way to get the next perfect date for yourself. Just remember, if it ever becomes not fun or you see yourself dreading opening the app, well, don't. Just take a break from it. So when you see someone on the app say hi to you, show you some goods, make a joke, or say something deeply meaningful that you're ready to reply. They did the hard part of starting a conversation. Now it's up to you on how to reply. Best of luck. I'm Josh Robbins with Dating.com Group.